Okay. Okay. Yeah. You know, a student came up to me and had a very interesting uh, take on the bowl problem. If you haven't checked out the bowl problem, I'll make sure and include a link. But he didn't like the bowl problem as much because he said that he couldn't verify my measurements, which maybe, maybe not. It was taken at home. And so, you know, we'll find out. So I'm choosing to do this similar problem here in my classroom so that they can take all the measurements they want. They can take the ones they feel important. Now, here's the deal, though. I've got a bunch of these three-ring binders. They're one-inch three-ring binders. They're all the same. And I want to get them up in here. I've got more than this, too. I've got a bunch over in my cabinet. So at first, I started to put them in like this, all with the spine facing out. And you notice that very quickly, you get this sort of curving effect because this is much narrower than this. So my next attack was to turn them all and alternate them. One spine out, one spine in, one spine out, one spine in. And it worked a lot better. But my, my question was, if that's the case, how many of them am I going to be able to fit in here? And I don't know. I don't want to haul all those out of there without knowing how many I'm going to be able to fit in there. It just makes a bunch of extra work for me. So your task is to figure out just how many of these one inch three ring binders are going to fit in this here, uh, in this here cabinet. All right, see what you can do with that.